This tutorial is all about the Boolean modifier, a very useful modeling tool in Blender and 3D software in general, which allows you to combine two objects in different ways to easily create unusual shapes that would otherwise be very difficult, if not impossible, to achieve. One of the most common uses of the Boolean modifier is to cut a hole into a shape, but it has several other uses as well, which we will look at here one by one. The first thing about Boolean is that you need to have two objects in order to make it work. In this example, we're going to use the default cube that opens with Blender, and we're going to add a cylinder for our second object. Press Shift A to add the cylinder, and then make it tall and thin by scaling on the correct axes. To demonstrate the three different types of Boolean operations, we will duplicate our cylinder three times so that we can see the different effects in each case. So select your cube and cylinder and press Shift D to duplicate. And then again, one more time until you have three sets of a cube and a cylinder. Of your two objects, you may apply the Boolean modifier to either one and you'll end up with different results depending on which one you choose. As a general rule, uh, the one that you should choose is the one that your final shape is going to most look like. So in our case, uh, we're going to use the cube because in, our, in each case, the end result is going to look most like the cube. To apply the Boolean, select the object you want to apply it to and in this case, we're going to use the cube, as I said, and then open the modifiers tab and choose Boolean from the list there. In the Boolean options, have a look at the operations drop down menu. This shows the three types of Boolean operation. The first one is called difference, the second one is union, and the final one is intersect. So for the first example, we're going to select Difference. To use the Boolean in Blender, you need to know the name of the second object. So in our example, if you right click to select the first cylinder, you'll see that it's called simply Cylinder. The second one's called Cylinder 001, and the third one, Cylinder 002. So select the cube again, and in the Boolean options under Object, select the object called Cylinder. That's the first one. As soon as you do this, the Boolean is provisionally applied, although in this case we can't see clearly that anything has actually happened. But in fact, the cylinder has cut a hole into the cube. So click on the Object tab and switch on Wires so that we can actually see the effect of this in terms of the, the mesh faces and, and the vertices. So you can modify your Boolean in real time before you apply it. So for example, if you move the cylinder now, or scale or rotate it, the hole in the cube will automatically update with it. One of the problems with the Boolean is that when you cut a hole in something, Blender has to recalculate the geometry of the object's mesh and it tends to create very ugly triangles. So click Apply in the Boolean options, and then select the cylinder, and delete it by pressing X to see the results of our Boolean operation. So as we can see, we've got a cylinder-shaped hole cut through the middle of our cube. In the second set of cube and cylinder, select the cube, and add the Boolean modifier to it. This time choose Union and point the object to Cylinder 001, which is the second one. Click Apply and then select the cylinder and delete it. You're now left with a new shape composed of the union of the cube and the cylinder joined together permanently. This is different and more efficient than using the Join tool. If you're making a permanently joined shape, 
as it removes any overlapping internal geometry. Move on to the third set and right click to select the cube and add the boolean. This time choose intersect and select the object cylinder 002, third one this time, and the intersect actually creates a shape out of the overlapping parts of the two objects and removes anything that doesn't intersect. So click apply and then delete the cylinder to see the result this time. So it creates a shape out of the space between the two objects. You can create all sorts of custom shapes using the boolean tool. It's extremely useful although the triangle faces that it tends to create are not great for smoothing or subsurfacing. Um, but as we'll see in the next tutorial, Blender now has a new modifier called the Remesh modifier, which kind of solves this problem to some extent. So this has been an overview of how to use the Boolean modifier in Blender.